with. Paris by night, but not the way I'd imagined. My lecture at the American University had been followed by an unexpected invitation to a crime scene. Professor Langdon, thank you for coming. I am Captain Bezu Fash. Do you know this man? Jacques Sonnier, the curator of the Louvre. I was supposed to meet him tonight after my speech. Follow me. It seems Monsieur Sonnier put up quite a fight. <laughs> So nearly got away. You should not have run, Monsieur Sonnier. Now, tell me where it is. Please, I beg you. Where is it? All right, all right, I will tell you. The bars were no defense. I believe you. The others told me the same. Pardon? It's rather meticulous for a dying man. I think he was trying to show us that everything he did had a purpose. Even his nudity may have meaning. Uh, what do you think about the use of his own blood as ink? Obviously, he had nothing else to write with. Actually, I believe he used blood such that the police would follow certain forensic procedures. I'm sorry? Look at his left hand. He's clutching a large felt-tip marker. It smells like alcohol. The 
Sonnier was holding it when we found him. As I told you, we have touched nothing. Are you familiar with this kind of light? As you may know, police use black light illumination to search crime scenes for blood and other forensic evidence. So you can imagine our surprise. What the hell does this mean? That, monsieur, is precisely the question you are here to answer. Part of it looks like a numeric cipher. Yes, our cryptographers are already working on it. We believe these numbers may be the key to who killed him. Uh, but the text appears to be an accusation of some sort. Wouldn't you agree? An accusation against his murder makes sense, I suppose. Sonnier was a Frenchman. He lived in Paris. And yet he chose to write this message... In English? Precisement, Monsieur Langdon. I have seen a lot of death in my work. Let me tell you something. When a man is murdered by another man, I do not believe his final thoughts are to write an obscure, spiritual statement that no one will understand. I believe he is thinking of one thing only. La Vengeance. I believe Sonnier wrote this note to tell us who killed him. But that makes no sense whatsoever. You told me Sonnier was attacked by someone he had apparently invited in. Considering the circumstances, I would assume that if Sonnier wanted to tell you who killed him, he would have written down somebody's name. Precise more, precise more. Capitaine. There were one moment, please. Uh, me? Uh, Capitaine, an agent de département. Unacceptable, I made it very clear. Captain, please excuse the interruption, but... Ce n'est pas le moment. I have deciphered the numeric code, but before I explain, I have an urgent message for Mr. Langdon. For Mr. Langdon? The U.S. Embassy asked that you phone in as soon as possible. While I explain the code to Captain Fash, you need to make this call. Thank you. Where can I find a phone? This line is secure. You may use it. <coughs> Bonjour. Vous êtes bien chez ce bénévole. Je suis absent pour le moment. I'm sorry, Miss Nevu. I think you may have given me the wrong... No, that is the right number. It's the three-digit code on the paper I gave you. But... The embassy has an automated message system. You have to dial an access code to pick up your messages. She handed me the a note. Numbers that Sonia wrote I should look at that. Ah, this is the number I'm supposed to call. It is the Fibonacci sequence, a progression in which each term is equal to the sum of the two preceding terms. Turn to Monsieur Sonnier's office for a moment. Please come find me directly when you are finished in La Toilette. There is more we need to discuss. Thank God you came. We don't have much time. I wanted to warn you, Monsieur Langdon, that you are sous surveillance caché under a guarded observation. But why? Because, 
Fascist primary suspect in this murder is you. Look in your jacket pocket. You will find proof they are tracking you. Just look. What is this? It's a GPS tracking dot. It continuously transmits its location to a global positioning system satellite that the DCPJ can monitor. We use them to monitor people's locations. It's accurate within two feet anywhere on the globe. They have you on an electronic leash in case you decide to run. In fact, they hope you do run, because it would make their case much stronger. Why would I run? I'm innocent. Do you recall the three lines of text that Sonia wrote on the floor? What you saw was not the entire message. This is a photo of the complete message. Why would Sonia write this? Was he trying to frame me? No. He wrote it for me. The numbered code is meaningless. Sonia wrote it to make sure the investigation included cryptographers, ensuring that I would know as soon as possible what had happened to him. Why you specifically? How do you know it wasn't for some other cryptographer? P.S. is the nickname he called me when I lived with him. It stood for Princess Sophie. We had a falling out ten years ago. Jacques Sonnier, he, uh, he was my grandfather. Where's Langdon? Uh, still in the men's room, sir. We are seeing small movements, so the GPS dot is obviously still on him. Perhaps he feels ill. If he had found the dot, he would have removed it and tried to run. Hmm. Fine. What should I do? Fash will be taking you into custody any minute. I can get you out of here, but we need to act now. You want me to run? It's the smartest thing you could do. If you stay, you will spend weeks in a French jail. But if you get to your embassy, then your government can protect you while I prove you had nothing to do with this murder. Forget it. You need to tell Fosh that the message on the floor was for you, and that my name is not there as an accusation. Fosh is convinced you are guilty. The only way to get you out is with a distraction. The GPS tracking dot? We need them to think you are running. If we can throw it out the window onto one of the cars going by, I bet a lot of the police would clear out. But the tracking dot does not weigh much more than a gram. See if you can find something to attach it to that would make it heavier. I can use this. So? That will work. Come, help me open this window. Alarm! Grand Galerie! Toilette, messieurs! Where's Langdon? Still in the men's room. He must have broken the window. I knew it! He is trying to escape! Quick, Robert! Help me get this window open! Hurry, Robert! Uh, uh. Hurry, Robert! Good. Now put the GPS tracking dot inside the soap and throw it out the window. So far, so good. It jumped! I'm showing the signal out on Place du Carousel, outside the bathroom window, and it is not moving at all! Ah! Oh, God! I think Langdon has just committed suicide! Here's someone coming! Quick, Robert! Hide! Draconian Devil. Oh, lame saint. The scrambled Fibonacci sequence is a clue. The numbers are a hint as to how to decipher the rest of the message. He wrote the sequence out of order to tell us to apply the same concept to the text. Oh, Draconian Devil. Oh, lame saint. Those lines mean nothing. They are simply letters written out of order. You think this message is an anagram? Like a word jumble from a newspaper? Your grandfather's meaning was right in front of us all along and he left us more than enough clues to see it. Let me see that photo.
anagram is when the letters of a word or words are mixed up to form other words. I'm not sure where to begin. Well, the most common three-letter word is D. Saunier was the curator of the Louvre. I wouldn't be surprised if this were an anagram of one of the paintings here. I think I know what it is. The first letter of the second world is M. An anagram is when the letters of a word or words are mixed up to form other words. The Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci. I can't imagine how your grandfather created such intricate anagrams in the minutes before he died. My grandfather probably created these anagrams long ago. What is important is that he wanted me to see something at the painting. You're going to the Mona Lisa? Now? I am not the murder suspect. I'll take my chances. I need to understand what my grandfather was trying to tell me. What about the embassy? The signs will lead you to a security turnstile. Mine is the car in the employee lot. Do you know how to get to the embassy? Whatever my grandfather was trying to tell me, I don't think he wanted anyone else to find it. As strange as it may sound, I think he wants me to get to the Mona Lisa before anyone else does. I'll come. No! We don't know how long the Grand Gallery will stay empty. You have to go now. I will see you at the embassy, Monsieur Langdon. I should be out on the streets. Hmm. Grandpere pulled down the painting of the Caravaggio to set off the alarms and bring down the gates, but I don't think he left any clues for me here. If the officer sees me, he will not let me pass. I must sneak by him. Uh-huh. So, do you think Langdon killed the curator? I don't know. It's so hard to tell you because I don't know. Hmm. What do you mean? Well, they be so wrapped up in their theories that if anyone tries to come to them, they see them. So, you think Langdon killed Jack Sonnier over an academic disagreement? It doesn't seem unpleasant. He's talking an arcade in the name of theories and theologies. You think one person killing another over something that isn't necessarily true is reasonable? Well, certainly, it's So far, so good. You would think the judicial police could afford better quality equipment. I have to knock out that officer to get to the evidence cart. This should be useful. Oh, this could be useful to knock someone out. Well, Judge that this! Judge this! garbage now. I guess I will use this one. Ha! 
I got it. obviously brought us together for a reason. I'm staying until we figure this out. Fine, then help me. My grandfather wanted us to see this painting for a reason. There must be a message hidden here. It smells like alcohol. Where have I smelled that before? I think I need something else to complete this. What is this? They look like random symbols. Nothing my grandfather ever did was random. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the arrangement of these symbols seems to indicate word groupings. An encrypted substitution cipher. Sophie, cryptology is your specialty. Any ideas? Well, there are several things that are important to remember. But a lot of it has to do with how common a letter, sound, or word is. Well, I was wondering if you had anything specific to tell me about this encrypted message. Hmm. As you can see, this symbol is the most common one. As a result, I believe it is the letter E.
still don't get it. Any other ideas? This world's first and last symbol are the same. This means it is most likely the world that. Sophie, cryptology is your specialty. Any ideas? Well, there are several things that are important to remember. But a lot of it has to do with how common a letter, sound, or word is. Well, I was wondering if you had anything specific to tell me about this encrypted message. Hmm. As you can see, this symbol is the most common one. As a result, I believe it is the letter E. still don't get it. Any other ideas? This world's first and last symbol are the same. This means it is most likely the world that. Sophie, cryptology is your specialty. Any ideas? Well, there are several things that are important to remember. But a lot of it has to do with how common a letter, sound, or word is.
Well, I was wondering if you had anything specific to tell me about this encrypted message. Hmm. As you can see, this symbol is the most common one. As a result, I believe it is the letter E. I still don't get it. Any other ideas? This world's first and last symbol are the same. This means it is most likely the world that 